friends so today what we are going to do is we are going to make a beautiful butterfly okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need crayons we need paper we need um markers a black marker okay or you can use a black crayon i'm going to use my black marker and then we need um something else but i'll get to that later okay first uh, we also need a, a white board or your um and a scrap paper to practice draw the butterfly okay so i have my white board so let's first uh, practice draw the butterfly and then after we are done i'll tell you guys uh, what else we need so um we are going to use um, a small lid like this okay we need a smaller one but we uh, for the paper but here i'm going to use this one this is big enough for this white board if you can find a really small one because our paper is i'm just using half of the paper so maybe we need a smaller one this size this is from the vitamins c container that you guys would be taking vitamins right so maybe you have a vitamin uh cap um you can use that i think this would be a nice size yeah so today we'll be placing the paper sideways um like this this is how we place the paper when we are drawing a landscape um though we are drawing miss butterfly which is a person we are going to place it like this because butterflies have beautiful wings right we are going to draw that beautiful wing and it's going to take up most of our space so first thing we are going to take the lid okay and we are going to put it right in the middle okay i'll show you a trick to find the middle of your paper when we are working on the paper um this one just put it right here maybe you need to put it a little bit down you know the reason because our butterflies have antenna right so we need to leave some space for the beautiful antenna so i'm putting it a little bit down and then i'm tracing the circle now we have the head now what we are going to do is we are going to draw miss butterfly's body so i'm going to draw two lines like this is it straight down like this no it is going sideways a little bit right and then i'm going to draw on the bottom of my paper a u okay and then i'm going to connect this with this like that so we have the body okay now what we are going to do is maybe now we can add make the eyes for our butterfly you can make the butterfly's eyes the way you want you can just put two dots this way or one two small dots and then like that it's up to you okay or if there is another way you want go ahead draw the eyes the way you want i'm going to make this a very happy butterfly because the butterfly is so happy you guys are here today to draw her so the mouth is done now we i need to draw the wings so for the wings you guys know how to write the letter 3 right so i'm going to make 3 on the side and a backwards 3 if you don't know how to make a backwards 3 sometimes making a backwards th oh, oh. oh oh this is so tight okay uh is difficult so what you can do is i'm sure you guys can make a u and another u i think we will go for u and another u touching together okay so then make a u and another u over here and then we are going to connect it to the body connect this to the body 
So we have one pair of wings. I'm going to make a bigger U. Like that. And then connect it. Uh oh. Uh, you like this? Okay. So this one should be connected. Okay. So we have the body now. Now let's make the antenna. So I'm going to, you can make his antenna like this and then like that. Does he look like a bee? I don't know. Maybe you, we can make it another way. I'm just showing you different ways you can make it. You can make it like this. Maybe you can make a dot, a big dot here. I think Miss Butterfly likes it that way. <laughs> I'm going to add some lines coming down like that on his tummy or her tummy forgot that we are drawing Miss Butterfly. I'm going to make this a little bit more fancier. So I'm going to make a swirl on either side. Maybe what, maybe you can draw a shape here. Do you want to draw a circle or an oval shape? If it is an oval shape, can draw oval shape like that maybe a big circle okay so maybe this much is enough drawing shapes or you can put whatever shape you want maybe you can draw some lines like this oh maybe we will not draw any more lines this is enough okay so if you want my friend what you can do is um you can practice draw this butterfly one more time. Or if you want to draw, if you like it too much and if you want to draw it two times, go ahead, draw two times or three times. As many times as you want on your whiteboard or on your scrap paper. Once you think you are ready to draw on the paper, you're going to, uh, so you can pause the video and do that. And then when you are ready, to draw on the paper you're going to come get the paper and pause the video and get the paper we are using just half of the paper i'm folding the paper like a book like i always do and in the middle uh, on the line i'm going to cut you may need help with this my friend go get help okay are we using both the pieces today? No, this one is for next week. So I'm going to put it this, put this paper along with my art supplies. Now, I need to get the small circle lid and I need to find the middle. How I want, I told you I'll show you a trick to find the middle of the paper, right? So the middle of the paper is, I'm putting the paper sideways like this like when we draw a landscape. This is how we place the paper when we draw a person. Though Miss Butterfly is a person, today we are going to place it sideways in the, like the landscape style. I'm going to take the left side of my paper and then I'm going to match the it with the uh, right side. Can you see this side is matching with the right side. I'm going to put my finger on top, okay? When both the matches, I'm going to just make a fold on the top not i'm not creasing the whole thing only on the top when i open i can see a line so that is the middle of the paper now i'm going to put the lid like that can you see the middle is here so here and then i'm going to leave like one finger space at least one finger space for the antenna uh, on top and then i'm going to take maybe i'll draw everything with the black marker you can draw everything with a pencil first and then you guys can come back and draw the rest with a uh, draw uh, go on top of all the lines with the black marker or with the black crayon it's up to you okay so i'm going to trace the circle he has a big head now remember how to make the neck so the line doesn't go straight down it goes like this two lines on either side of the line here 
and then on the bottom and straight down here I'm maybe you can even use the same thing I'm just see what I'm doing I'm putting it here I'm bringing it down straight down when I reach the almost to the bottom of the, my paper there's a little bit space I'm going to leave it there I'm going to make a U I didn't make a circle can you see and then I'm going to connect this and this now we have a beautiful body okay now what is the next one his eyes so I'm going to put a eye should I make maybe I should make He looks goofy with one eye small and one big eye. Maybe I'll make eyelashes to make her look. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the smile because Miss Butterfly is happy to see you. Okay. Now, maybe we use the same thing to make the wings. Or no, I'm going to make a U, okay, and then a U, and then on this side, I'm going to make a U, another U, okay, and then we are going to connect it to the body, connect it to the body now. Maybe now you can use this. So, or I'm going to make a big U, almost touching this one. Maybe you can touch it also like that. And then connect it like that. So we have the wings. Now what else is needed? Antenna. Not a, it's like a rainbow but we are stopping it's like a u but not a long like one end is not as long as this side all right and then maybe here we can make it a little go inside and then i'm going to make a go this little bit inside okay now let's make some lines on the body Are these the lines? Actually, you can call this his, um, what is it? Hands, just like the legs, not the hands. <laughs> so maybe I'll make it like that. How many legs does insects have? Four, six? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it four. Now, let's make some circle or some some design some shape over here maybe another shape here maybe i'll make another big circle okay so next what we are going to do is i said after we are done drawing we need to do something right so what we need to do is we are going to make a texture for this butterfly. Sometimes I forget what we are drawing. Silly me, right? So we are drawing a butterfly texture. Let me talk about what texture is. Where is my marker? Okay. Texture is something that you can feel, okay? Or there are two types of text texture. Texture is usually something that you can feel. Uh, but when we are drawing, we will draw a type of texture that you can see. Just see. By just seeing, you will feel like there is um, something there. Like maybe the... A butterfly is hairy, furry, or smooth. You can make it look like there is um, a change. It's not 
how it is by adding lines or things to it okay so that's what we are going to do okay so texture that can you can feel is called tactile texture you guys don't have to remember that and the another one that you can see it called visual texture okay so how are we going to make this texture what i need you guys to do is i need you guys to go find something bumpy something uh spiky but not too spiky something that you can feel okay so for example i have this mat here i can, when i feel it it is not smooth something that is not smooth that's what i want you guys to find this is not smooth can you hear the sound when i run my uh, fingers on top of this yeah so it's not smooth it will be able to give me a nice visual texture when i use this on the paper okay this one this one is also the same way can you hear the sound it is not smooth so this is another example i have this this is can you see the bumps i don't know this is bumpy and that i hope will give a nice texture this cap has things written on it it is bumpy this also if i put a paper on top and then um do some crayon drumming on top i'm going to get a nice texture so go ahead and find things that are bumpy or not smooth okay you can find things like this maybe even a comb would be nice um a mat or maybe if you put it the paper on the floor and do it i can't show it on the floor right now because i can't take my camera and go and put it on the floor and show it the floor is uh, not completely smooth right the tiles are not that smooth maybe you can do that maybe um even if you find a leaf the leaves have uh the leaves on one side it's not that smooth so leaves also are a good um way to make texture only thing you need to keep in mind when you're finding something with te for texture rubbing is don't find something that is squishy something that when you press it down it goes down don't find something that is squishy because if you put a paper on a squishy thing and try to make a rubbing on top what will happen is the bottom thing that the that the thing that you uh, use are uh, using to make the texture will go down and then you won't get the the nice pattern that you are going for okay so uh let me show you some examples of let me see if i have some paper to show you guys okay i have a paper here so let me show you before i show it over here how we can do and don't uh um, if it is a little big that would be nice okay if it is too small it will be difficult to make a texture with and if it is um it should try to find something that is flat if it is curvy this is a big curvy uh it will be fine but if it is um small and curvy it will be difficult for you to make texture on so let's uh, try and make some texture So let's try on this one. Can you guys see? I'm putting the paper on top of the uh, top of whatever we are using, and then uh, you are going to take your crayon, okay, and then put it like that. Press it down with one hand, hold it down, and then put your crayon sideways. Or if it is flat, you can use the flat side of the crayon like this. see how a uh, nice you can see a texture forming on the paper right when you see this texture what do you feel do you think this uh, is bumpy no you feel like it is bumpy but when you touch it it is not really bumpy so it is only for the eyes it's not for feeling okay when you feel it is just regular texture so that is one way you can do it let me put the so this is a bumpy cap 
let's put it on this and see so i'm going to use this flat side because this is not flat i'm going to put it this way and then when i can you see the letters on that appear on this one can you see uh and it is a cool texture pattern that we are created it doesn't matter whether it is letters on the thing or if it is um things like this let's try another color So see, can you see the texture? The reason I didn't get a good texture on this is because this is a little bit squishy. That's why I said find things that are not squishy. Okay. So now let's go guys, grab things that are not squishy and come back. And then I'll be waiting here and we'll do the coloring together. Are you guys back with the thing? Okay. So let's start coloring our um butterfly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the butterfly's tummy uh look a little bit furrier because i i don't know i think it'll be a little hair on the tummy right so i'm on the tummy i'm going to put um you can either use brown or black for the tummy what should i use i'm going to use brown okay so only on the tummy I'm going to make a texture. So whatever texture you got, you are going to put the paper, hold it. So um, if you think you need help with this, maybe you can ask somebody to hold the paper down for you. Or what you can do is you can tape the paper uh, with um, sticky tape onto the texture thing so that it doesn't move. Okay, so I got the body done. Now, maybe the face, maybe the face also should be the same thing. Why am I using another one? So the face, so see, I'm using the flat side of my crayon. I'm trying to not go outside the lines. I'm being, being very careful. I know you, it will be easy for you guys because you have a smaller crayon, right? Mine is a thick crayon don't go outside okay I'm going to make the cheeks a little bit more darker okay so see how uh, we got the color now um, let's put this color back and then what color should I be using for my uh, so for the wings upper wings i'm going to use the same uh texture thing okay so maybe upper thing i'm going to use orange do you guys have to use the same color that i'm using no you can use whatever color you want my friend maybe the circle maybe i'll color the circle first i made the circle a little bit big so it is easy for me to make the pattern, uh, make this color inside. If you have made it really small, it would be a little bit tricky. I'm using the back of my crayon and making the texture. I am holding this thing down. I don't want this to move. I'm pressing the crayon also really well so that the texture shows through you can go on top of the dot because this is a lighter color oh, i'm super tired are you guys tired do you need a break i know you guys are strong you don't need a break i'm going to take purple for this one you guys don't need to take the same color you can choose whatever color you want. Okay. Okay, maybe this wing, I'll use a different texture thing. Let me use this mat. 
Okay, so now here I'm going to use a different color. This one. I'm being really careful when I'm near the line. Uh oh. It's okay if I, because this is purple red, it's okay if a little bit off, it goes on top of the purple. So the butterfly is colored. Now I'm just going to, I don't have any more texture things here. So I'm just going to color the background with this crayon. So only if you use something that is bumpy or spiky or mm, what is the word can we can use like that is something like this you'll be able to see it. I have a mat on here because it's smooth. I won't be getting any texture. I'm going to put my crayon on the side. Or you can put it like this, the back part, and then color the sky, okay? I'm using blue. I'm going to do quickly. I'm going to put it on the side like this because I have a small broken one. If you have a crayon without the sleeve, you can put it on the side like this and color it faster. Or you will just put it like this. Hold the crayon like this. Not this way, like this, and then put it on the side and then color it. So whichever way works for you, if you don't have a crayon, I'm using my old crayon set from last year uh, to, I removed the, I told you guys, right? I removed the sleeves of my old crayons. This is my new set. So I have the sleeves of those. This is an older set. So I removed the sleeve. So now it's easy for me to color. The paper lining or the sleeves um, helps the crayon. Um, like if it falls, it won't break if this thing is there. But if you remove it, if it falls, it will break into two pieces. So that's why you should not remove the, uh, the, the sleeve or the paper lining. If it's a new one, you don't want it to break into little pieces, right? So, did you guys enjoy making this happy bismuth butterfly? I had a lot of fun making this. Um, so, oh, did you guys outline this thing with black? I hope you I outlined uh, the butterfly with black. If not, go ahead, outline this with black. And then, as always, we are going to finish this off with a name on the bottom. Don't write the name on the forehead of the butterfly or on the like big up here. The reason is we want everyone to see your beautiful work, right? Um, sometimes I see like, do we write our name on our forehead and walk around? No, <laughs> right? So just like that. Uh, we will uh, put the name on the corner. If you look at what other artists have done, like famous paintings, always artists put their name on the bottom corner, not in the middle of their art. Okay, so just like famous artists, you're all famous artists. So uh, you're going to write your name on the bottom corner. You're going to write your name. You're going to put your room number and you are going to send me a copy of this uh pic you're going to take a picture of this and email me in the email address i am putting at the end of the video so till we meet next week bye bye